This is the moment paralyzed IndyCar driver Sam Schmidt was able to race again, despite not being able to use his arms or legs. The fact that I'm steering it, I'm using the brake and the gas, and going as fast as I want is, is you know, exhilarating. Schmidt's ambition to be an IndyCar champion started at the age of five, and he achieved it, winning the Indy 500 at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway in 1999. But months later, a tragic crash left him paralyzed from the neck down. It was my passion my entire life, and, uh, and then this happens, and it kind of turns things upside down. But about a year after my accident, we decided to start the team, and then uh, about seven years ago, Aero came along with this idea of building a car for somebody that can't use their arms and legs. And uh, it was uh, an amazing experience. It took about eight months to drive the first car at Indianapolis uh, at 107 miles an hour. So we kind of checked that box and they wanted to keep going. Schmidt worked with tech company Arrow Electronics to build this, the SAM car. SAM standing for semi-autonomous mobility. To accelerate and brake, Schmidt uses his breath. Infrared cameras detect his head motions to steer via a racing hat and sunglasses. They integrate into a system that can motion track the driver's subtle head movements in real time to move the wheels. What I didn't anticipate was this overwhelming feeling of normalcy because I was in control. And literally to that point in my life, there was really not a lot that I controlled. I needed help for everything. The tech that he and Arrow are pioneering could have a wider impact on helping people with disabilities. That's just it. Arrow says the sky's the limit. So, uh, frankly, you know, booster rockets uh, flying around here. I mean, uh, they've already got, they, they custom developed an exoskeleton in the last few months that uh, I wore at my daughter's wedding. So, by far the best day in 21 years. And they just keep creating moments that are spectacular and it's motivating me, it's motivating a lot of other people, uh, excites the company as a whole, uh, 18,000 employees globally, so, and it, it's great for the engineering staff to participate, so it just shows what they're capable of doing and again, uh, yeah, I hear they're selling tickets, you know, to the, to the space station, maybe that's it.